Hello ladies and and aggressive telemarketers, let's do the daily challenge as Belunky this October 16th and I'm ever so ready to get this done. You may have noticed, I don't know if you keep track, but you may have noticed that uh, there was a 1 million dollar score in a previous daily, uh, as in the leaderboards that uh, has never been posted, that's because I was just playing it for shit, shit and giggles, I wasn't even recording and uh, I was kind of disappointed that I wasn't because the death was a fantastic I died in the temple to some awful ticket trap, ticket trap plus uh, monster shenanigans. It was quite the sight to see, so I was I was sad that I was not recording for that death. At least have that be, uh, be recorded. So uh, we should be able to just there. You go Do this. Aha! It's spring shoes right away. So just hang on to that trap, and there you go. All right, <laughs> that was a bit of a challenge to to get past. It was non-trivial, a non-trivial trap. See what's up there with Fred. We don't give a crap about Fred, but maybe he is guarding something fantastic. It's just two emeralds, so we really don't care about. Anyway, that daily challenge that I ruined, that I was playing with that recording, I was very, very sad that it ended the way it did, because that seed was just something else. It was insane how good that seed was. I was ever so disappointed. One that I didn't actually record, I just didn't have the actual opportunity to record with commentary, so I was like, why the hell would I record it at all? Um, and it, because he, he had so much money, he was insane, the amount of money that there was in that seed. Uh, quite incredible, you know, and of course he had the jetpack and all the resources, he had 70-something bombs before I died, of course I died, right before the the city of gold what a crazy surprise that right <laughs> this i'm sure this is shocking you that i died right before the city of gold in 4-2 i'm going a little bit further down because uh there might be something worth getting before going into that snake pit but there really was not just a little bit of money uh this this jump don't judge me because it's a little bit more challenging than it might look it is just a strange jump okay don't just stop judging me already you're always, always getting on my ass. I told you I'll get around to that laundry. Just stop nagging on me already. Please, please stop nagging on me. I'm so sick of you. I want to divorce so hard. Anyway, <coughs> um, I, I got derailed a bit for a moment. I don't know where that, all that stuff was coming from. No idea. Uh, let's get there and kill spiders and then get the Ujarai. And there is a Madoc there and uh, Kali Altar. Here's the problem that I have with this whole shenanigans uh, situation thing that there is right now. Yeah, I think it's still worth it to use the bomb, but that puts me at two bombs. That is quite the problem. Ugh. We have to, we have to pick up at least that emerald. And that's too bad. Get this broken. Trigger that. Come with me, Fredo. You are going to be... A team player. That's the euphemism I choose for your sacrifice. Haha, <laughs> excellent! We get that, and thanks to the Madoc, we're able to get into this little alcove here. There we go. Without spending a single bomb, and we get a parachute. What could we possibly do without it? And uh, since we have the Ujara, we have view, we have vision into the walls so we can see all the money that awaits us the problem i have now is no climbing gloves so i really don't have don't have much of a way to get back up other than using ropes we're going to get the ghost from this side it's okay i feel and i, I don't know if i would normally wait for it but since it's already here might as well go to the junk and quite clearly we want to no we want to get all of this stuff ghosted but first best to get the gems down here that emerald not a fan of that emerald I already picked it up I, w I wasn't planning to actually pick it up <laughs> I was trying to get to this place to this side so I could so I could lure the ghost behind it but whatever it was just an emerald it's not going to make all the difference at the end right totally not so there's still a few gems at the top that we want to ghost and I am still wondering what might be at the corner. I guess we'll find out pretty damn soon. But of course we're keeping this Maddock. We have yet to kill a shopkeeper, which is weird to me. Because this is 1-2. 
there was no shop. That is very strange. That is very, very unorthodox to find a 1-2 without, without a shop. Not horribly uh, uncommon, but it does happen. I have this Madoc. I need to get to those two sapphires. It needs to happen. Absolutely must happen. So we're going to take the long game, play the long game, because you guys know the policy. If you don't know it, I'm going to reiterate it right now, because I always tell you that it's all or nothing. Unless it is, you know, resource prohibitive to a point that it hampers my ability to get more money later. So, for example, right here, this is I have six ropes. You could argue that, you know what, you could actually spend those ropes to get back up, get a, a few more gems, perhaps even that idol up there. Uh, and you wouldn't be terribly wrong. I'm going to do this. Spending a, a few more swings to be able to get around this freaking ghost. This is a very dangerous situation, by the way. I might die just by doing this, and I'm tempted to use a rope. I'm not going to do it. Instead, I'm going to risk my life and limb to do that instead. So we're going to use a rope here because I talked myself into it, really. Uh, we got a few more. Okay, there you go. No, there. <laughs> I knew it was possible. Damn it. There. You're. Uh, careful, careful, careful. That's right, and I also have the cape, so I want to take advantage of that. Can I make it up there? No, I can't. So let's just maybe go through here. Kind of wasting the Madoc, I feel. Like, there's much, much easier gems to do possibly in the future. Instead of trying to get the gems in this level. But you know what? You might get another Madoc in the, ne in the, in the next level. So, it might pay to go out of my way. The ghost stole this junk because there could be another pickaxe in the upcoming ordeal that we're going to go through. You never know. And like I was saying, I'm going to take advantage of everything I can. Perhaps it's not everything that is available to me, but it is everything I can take advantage of. Let's do this. Perhaps make it all the way up here. And is there any... Ooh, wow, this is bad. Please don't break on me now. Oh shit! Oh shit! No! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! <laughs> no! 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 Okay, okay. Not there yet. Not there yet. Oh, son of a bitch! I knew it! I knew it! I did not realize that arrow trap was there. Just didn't see it. Was completely blind to it. The two emeralds, 100% blind, blinded me to that. That was so sad. So very sad. One million in hell. Okay, I don't feel too bad about that. But. Wow, that was terrible. That was absolutely terrible. Only eight minutes into the daily challenge. My greed got the better of me. And it wasn't really my greed, just tunnel vision. I tunnel vision into those gems, didn't actually see the arrow trap, and then I failed miserably at picking out the Madoc and getting my, my way out of there. That was pretty damn sad. Pretty damn sad indeed. I, uh, I picked up the Madoc and I put it back down because I tried to swing it right away. It was just <laughs> weird, this stupid thing. Oh man, I just feel so dumb, so freaking stupid, to have lost that daily challenge. That being said, no shop in the first 1-2 uh, was kind of weird, and uh, it threw me off the whole game. I'm going to blame that. Yeah, that's uh, that's what uh, I'm blaming right now. Feel pretty damn ashamed. That was pretty awful. Oh boy, oh boy, do I. Did I just lose all of my Spelunky credit in th that play? In fact, actually, I don't feel that bad about the final moments because I was actually able... I was actually able... It's doable, right? There you go. There. Enjoy your l mouthful of lead, you fool! And uh, that Maddox, whatever. We're not trying to do anything now. We're just trying to make it to the end of the game. And that is... All that I want to accomplish right now, I'm a-okay with that that goal. I don't know, I don't feel like a... Since there's a whole bunch of, of Splunky custom levels all over the place, I feel like yeah, I don't need to make a artificial challenge for myself playing regular Splunky. I can just, you know, playing the freaking game by itself is challenging enough. Why the hell do I want to make it harder for myself? Well, you know, making... Uh, going to the special places, the special areas and whatnot. 
I just kind of screwed myself over, so <laughs> I need to use a rope here. There was a Maddox at the top, so probably I didn't need to use any more bombs to get into that key. Thing is, uh, I am far too lazy to not just use the bomb here. Okay, this should be... If I just pick up the arrow, I should be fine. Oops, sorry! <laughs> I wanted to kill the bats, but instead I just arrow your ass. It's just something that happens to me every time I go out to pick up ladies. There you go. It's all these bats around me. Instead, I just shoot people in the face. There you go. Money, I don't even know. They're just don't... That was uh, awfully weak. I feel kind of ashamed of that entire... That entire diatribe that I just went into. But hey, we got the Ujedi in the meantime. While I was just blabbing off my mouth, I, we got a point of health, the Ujedi, and a shotgun in my hands. Let's just make something good happen with it. And by good, I mean horrible things to the shopkeepers. And since I have 15 bombs, there is zero qualms in spending one to do that. Get that beautiful paste. Everything's beautiful today. These birds are singing, the shopkeepers are dying. Everything goes according to plan. Nothing to be gained up there, I don't think. Nah. And check a jump. Aha, the parachute. A staple of any winning run. There is the man. He is going to get bombed. Get skilled on, as they say. <laughs> they actually say that. Well, it's just a bear taffy thing that uh, he saw in chat. I don't know if that's a, becoming a thing. I agree with his opinion that I really hope it doesn't become a thing. Uh, put a bomb here, yeah, why not? Get me the contents of that chest, another parachute, because you gotta have that spare. Really important stuff. Double parachute. I'm, I'm pretty much golden now, I, I, you could say I have a golden parachute on this, on, on my current situation right now. You get pick up double parachute, and you're just good to go, man. You have no qualms getting to the end of the game after you pick up such important items to have on your back. So it's all set, really. I could just stop playing right now because it's a foregone conclusion that this is going to be a victory. I'm a bit worried, however, about the existence of this dark level. But we'll make it through. It's also a spider level, because that will be double ass hattery. I thought that would happen, yes indeed, but I was not worried. Because I have the power of four health now. That cobra here, yes, yeah, I thought I, I heard it. Let's go down there. We gotta babysit both the torch and the and the shotgun now. Quite the inconvenient thing. But we'll make it through because we're strong people. Strong independent women. We don't need no men. Torch. I believe there's another cobra over here. I thought I was hearing it. Let's just keep going forward. Yeah, there you go. There it was. Bouncy. <laughs> oh man, that was pro spelunking right there. Uh, no real reason to kill this, but I'm going to kill it anyway because it, it just gives me the heebie-jeebies, okay? It just makes me ultra nervous to have the giant spider looming above my shoulder. So, absolutely going to get rid of her. Let's find out what's down there. Nothing of danger. Throw that torch ahead, alright, there's nothing. Nothing to be worried about. Just what's forward, what could possibly go wrong? Yeah, I'm going to just walk very carefully. That must be picked up. I mean, I know it's of no consequence. Oh man, he got glitched thanks to the cobra spit. So, easy, easy exit out of here. Just don't get spit on by the cobra. There we go. And you die. Alright, oh man, there's another <laughs> evil scorpion trying to get at my face. Alright, maybe just... Just checking out the area, in case something shows up. Okay, this guy's glitch, he's not going to be alerted. If my previous Splunky experience is worth anything. So into the exit we go. Every time I lose at the daily challenge, it just stays in the back of my head through the entirety of the, of the rest of the play session. So, I'm constantly thinking, oh, man, I could have done so much better. Wonder what I missed out on, wonder all the things that could have happened, that other run, that alternative reality that we could have gone into. 
We'll never know, we'll never know the fantastic things that could have happened if I had just been good. If I had just gone good. Ah. <laughs> if I had just gone good instead of being sucky and everything I tried to accomplish, then we would have a much different narrative going on here. Alas, it was not to be. And thus we can we must persevere in our current in our current path. Me that money because it's there. Still daily challenge mode. That guy can be completely ignored. I was like, oh man, is he glitching again? Nah. But we can do something like this twice. There you go. I should take out my problems and we can kind of hype to stay here a little bit longer. Because it could be... Actually, I, I did go through all of it, right? So let's just go through the exit. Pretty damn certain that the, the black market was not in that level. I will say that there is a, maybe a 5% chance of the black market having been in that level and I did not see it. Possibly even lower than that. Let's not begin by going this way, so might as well go elsewhere. Let's drop down. Very bereft of items. Really, really stingy. Where navigational items is concerned, I am okay with bombs. That's about it. And we have a freaking Russian water level. Ever so fun. You can suck a dick, Russian water level. I don't even care, man. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to try anything here. Uh, I will perhaps bomb my way in here, just in case there's something in that corner that I want to to have. I'll be okay. I'm not concerned about this monkey. Really? Okay, I was like, are you really going to make my life hard by standing right next to me? But yeah, there's nothing to be gained here, so let's just go to 2-3. Hope for something better. Uh, kind of shitty here, though. Should have limited time to get to the exit. Really was no problem. But it could have been bad if the shopkeeper had timed his attack just right. Are you for real, man? A second <laughs> dark level. Uh... And we get a pond right next to it. Shopkeepers are pissed off already. That's kind of weird. Do that. Son of a bitch. I want those things. I want those things. This is a trapped shopkeeper. I should be able to expertly kill this man. There you go. These are all things that I really needed. So I am happy that that went down the way it did. The problem is now I threw my torch into the water. I cannot see anywhere that I'm going. So this is a bit of a can handicap. It's not a complete loss, as in it's not a complete disaster. Is this a spike pit? Yes, it is. It's not a complete disaster because... Oh man, in the black market I can't see a damn thing. Uh, because I have the shotgun, so I can at least have a little bit of a source of light. Here's the question. I think it's right above me? here. Yeah, it's totally around here. If it's not exactly above me, it's totally... There you go. I believe we need to leave. I don't think there's going to be anything to be gained by by staying around here, and there's just death lurking in every corner, so I don't think it is a safe choice. Alright, we got a nice cubby hole right here to hide. Wait for these guys to just go berserk, go all guts on each other. And just maybe stop being a problem. Hey, it's our friend. Our friend, the hired help, which I would love to keep alive. And maybe that way I get the plasma cannon into the City of Gold. That would be pretty cool. But I don't think he has much of a choice, much of a chance, I meant to say. Uh, come on, the other, the other friend, super friend, went down there. So you have to be able to do it. He doesn't have a shotgun, so I might be able to just shoot him in the face. Whenever he goes to this side, I'm going to do this. I am very intimidated. Very intimidating indeed. Come on, man. How can you possibly be stuck back there? I'm trying to get you killed. There you go. What a jackass. How dare they make my life harder by staying alive. With a man trap. Been killed several times by such man traps. Okay, we're going to rush our way through here and hopefully kill every monster that tries to uh, to murder my face. Kind of shitty that no cape, no jetpack. Yep, 
no kick, no jet pack, but eh, whatever. We're doing okay with climbing gloves. Climbing gloves are awesome. Let's get rid of that stupid caveman. Whoops, <laughs> I threw it the wrong way. Wow, that was bad. There, that should take care of my problem. There you go. No more shopkeepers. See you later. No respect for you. Just throwing corpses up and down, all the way around. You can just stay there, although there's, they have six bombs in there. I must have access to that. Du, 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 du. And kaboom! Shoot, 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 shoot. On the coattails of that bomb going off. Alright. Problem solved. By problem solved, I mean everybody dies. Love it! When my enemies die! Really, when everybody dies, I just throw a party anytime I learn of somebody's death. Because I don't have to deal with their existence anymore. Like, I'm a mailman. And whenever somebody dies in my run, I'm like, sweet. I don't have to deliver their mail anymore. Nice. Their death was slightly convenient for me. Score. Hmm. Here is a situation where I don't want to mess with much. So we're going to just pass on that entire ordeal. Just keep going. Really, there's not much to be. Oh yeah, the warm. Let's go into the warm. Have fun. Have a good, good old time. I gotta need to ration my, ration my, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> my ropes. So I cannot possibly let go. I mean, put one there to make my way up there. I'm trying to find a place to throw my shotgun that will not get thrown into the abyss to pick up this lady fantastic little lady throw her into the warm which is a bit of a challenge here okay she'll bounce down there she might die if i throw her and i have the pitcher's mitt oh hey there's a freaking shop here all right we're going to take advantage of that first encounter there being a shop here i guess i could use bombs to make my way in there right, we're going to just put a bomb here we're going to be labeled terrorists, and then w wait for this man to just die. Well, he's kind of, sort of trapped there. Gotta be a bit more patient for it. Or not. Or we can, you know, speed this up with a few explosives. Explosives, man. Always solving my problems. Here you are! <laughs> hey! <laughs> what the freaking hell? Uh, here you go, I meant to say. Oops. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jacqueline. Didn't mean to make you suffer like that. There you go. And to the worm we go. No Kapala, though, so this is going to be a little bit of a challenge. This is probably a very bad idea, and this might be my grave. And I am A-OK -okay with that concept. We're just going to take it easy, though. Take it real easy. We're going to help ourselves to these crates. There you go. Nice. And the money is of no consequence. It can just stay up there. Not be a headache for myself. Oh, wow. I almost did that. Almost dropped my shot into the abyss. So we got to use a rope here, really. I could use a bomb to make my way to the other side. That could have been a thing. Careful. And I uh, was not careful enough. <laughs> that was stupid. I played it right with the UFOs. Not so much with the warm meat. So there goes my shotgun as well, I don't think. Yeah, it, it's completely gone. That's okay, we'll take advantage of the... Take advantage... Uh, oh no, there's the shotgun, alright. I was going to say take advantage of the of the Chris knife. So that was a load of shit. That was a load of bullshit. Don't feel 100% responsible. Although I definitely was. I feel there was a little bit of an excuse to say, Yeah, you know what? It was a tough one. It was a tough one. Ouch. It really wasn't, though. All I needed to do was maybe make my way back up. I was kind of trapped, you could argue, uh, between the warm meat and the freaking alien... alien thingies. But definitely there was a way out. I just failed to... to capitalize on a path to victory that we could have concocted for ourselves. This bad? And I just killed myself. <laughs> I did not realize that that... Uh, bacteria would be so freaking out of my heels 
That sucks. That sucks ass. Uh, and I suck ass for her having died in the warm. That is so awful. How could I have possibly died in the warm? That is the worst, man. Twice. Oh, man. 12 bombs right there. So dying in the warm twice, that feels really dumb. I am not terribly surprised. In fact, I called it. But I wasn't trying to die in the warm, that's for sure. Uh, put a bomb here, get advantage of... Take advantage of that crate. This is a bad idea, don't do it at home. Uh-oh. There you go. <laughs> uh, this is a bad idea to do it so soon, because it could piss off the shopkeepers. It could destroy your chest and key. It could do so many bad things. But you gotta love seeing those good times roll. So this is the key. Chest might be nearby. I did not see it crush a damn thing. So probably it's up there somewhere in the corner. Somewhere that I never went. There it is. One rope. That is bad. That is bad. Real bad. Put a bomb there might as well. And there we go. Um... Yeah, one rope is sucks. But the climbing gloves, spring shoes, we're going to be okay. There you go. We're going to be alright, hopefully. For the time being. I'm I never feel like I really need the cape or the jetpack, it's just a real nice to have. But I never get hung up or oh man, no cape, no jetpack, this run sucks. I was like, eh, no cape, no jackpot. This is just a little bit more challenging than usual. Uh, no climbing gloves. That's really what is the deal breaker for me. I'm like, oh, this run is going to suck balls until I find some way to get back up places. I'm not saying that it's hard. It is very freaking hard. It's a next level hardness of a run when there is no ca uh, cape or jackpot. I just didn't realize that we didn't have sticky bombs yet. <laughs> Whoops. Put that there, I guess. More bombs. I'm throwing them all away, but it's okay because the game just throwing them back at my face. Which is totally possible. Just gotta get into that gap. Into that Ginunga gap. Okay, I'm not even picking up damsels and I'm feeling kinda lazy about it, I guess. Ah, that was bullshit. <laughs> that was a lot of crap. Because I could have sworn if you asked me without actually experiencing it. That that totally should have stepped over the skeleton. I didn't. Instead. You hurt me. Hurt my feelings. They hurt me. A terrible deal. Really, man. Woo! No! I did the right thing first, then I panicked and kept jumping. And that is what did me in. I should have just turned around immediately and shot before he had a chance of shooting at me again. Because I should have known that I would not have been able to... Oh man, that was bullshit. <laughs> I should have not been able to to dodge. That was dumb. That was super dumb. Please, skeleton, stop being reanimated in front of me. That is really upsetting. I am not a fan of necromancy. None of the things that are happening here. Why am I picking out these rubies? Why am I taking full damage when there was possibly four opportunities to hold on to a... Ledge. Am I going on tilt? I think I'm going on tilt now. Like, oh, let's just rush these things. This is no, no, no big deal. We can rush through it. And it's basically me just throwing runs away. And there is a Kali out there. Maybe I can grab a Kapala and, you know, depend on that to save my ass instead of actually being good at the game. That is a thing that could happen. And here is our beautiful volunteer. Thank you so much for taking one for the team. I appreciate it. Really appreciate it. You will be rewarded with uh, a thousand hunks in the afterlife. This is the way it works. Right? That's the way the Quran describes it. It's a thousand virgins for the dudes that kill themselves. And it's a thousand hunks for the ladies that kill themselves. It works out like that. Pretty sure. I'm 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 uh, quite knowledgeable of these uh, foreign cultures and stuff, and I'm quite certain they are very equitative where it comes to the gender gap. Really, quite uh, all-inclusive societies out there. Anyway, let's get these people killed. I'd rather not get her killed. 
kind of a challenge to get this done and pick up my shotgun back. I guess we're going to do it like this. I don't want to save her because I've been throwing my life away. My life total away. I've been throwing my life away by playing video, video games. You could argue. I don't know if I agree with it, but you could argue that. Uh, well, rather... Stop taking damage, damn it. Okay, there you go. We're babysitting free items now. With the... The shotgun and the damsel and... The Ujarai down there. So what's down there? Okay, we can just drop that. Go back. Go for Jacqueline. She should drop safely. Go back for that Ujarai. Where's the key? The key must be somewhere down there. There it is. Is it accessible from an easy spot? Yeah. So good. Okay. Oh man, she got killed! What a chance! This is disgusting cobra! I hate everything. I hate everything. I hope everything dies. I'm very upset right now. <laughs> this evil cobra ruined my dreams of getting a tasty salty kiss from her lips. Okay. It just, it just could not happen. Makes me salty for reals. There should be an evil shopkeeper at the end of this passage. It'd be cool to drop a rock on his head. But instead I'll probably just end up being killed. Let's put a bomb there. It's a corpse in the way, so this, it makes this a little bit more challenging, but it worked out. The spider. I want to go this way. Maybe there was something to be gained. There really was not. So here we go. 1-4. One, one point of health. Totally fine. Everything will be fine. Don't worry about it. We're going to be okay. Man. Oh shit. Ooh, I got trapped by the climbing gloves. I almost did not make it past that whole thing. Could have been murdered by bat. And I think this is the, totally the last run. Yeah, this is totally going to be our last run. So, I'm very much hoping not to die a horrible death. I guess now you can look at the duration and see just how long did I last with one health. Really hoping this is a 50-minute a 50 uh, <laughs> minute video, because that would mean I got pretty damn close to the, to the end of the run. There's a damsel that we totally want to throw through the exit. Did I have a damsel and sacrifice her? Yeah, I think I got the spike shoes that way? Man, and now I just don't even remember. Pretty damn certain there was a damsel. And a, and a Kali altar. And we took advantage of that. She was the beautiful volunteer. And that's when I went into the really offensive uh, dad trap about the virgins and the hunks in the Muslim afterlife. Right? I said she says Islam. I don't know. Islam. Whatever, man. If you don't hear from me ever again, it's because there was a suicide bombing, and I am now dead in the in the name of Allah. Hello, but <laughs> I should stop. I really need to stop. Uh, let's see. There is a shop down there, and there goes my torch. Not mean to throw away all so willy-nilly, but I do mean to murder this guy straight in the face. I'm happy that that worked out that way it did. I'm going to bomb my way through here because there could be a black market. I wouldn't mind a red or a white market, but I am okay with a black market. Hey, more bombs. Careful here, so they might... Nope. I deny you, filthy monkey. I don't think there's anything to be gained by going this way now. It ain't nothing in this corner of the world. Man, so many monkeys. What's up with that? Hey, it feels like we're going straight down to the exit or something. Looks like there was a massive loop. Son of a bitch. I'm just going to stay here. Well, enjoy your stupid bomb, you gross simian. Filthy creatures, man. Since I have the specs, I really don't feel too bad going without the torch. Just 
just gotta be a little bit more careful with my two health. But we got out of the woods thanks to rescuing that damsel back there. I think I should be uh, shooting forward. Uh, here's the, the exit right there. <clears throat> Put a bomb into that ticket trap. Hopefully now I'll be able to just shoot forward. I can't even tell. Maybe. Oh, pff, they're dead. <laughs> well, that's stupid. They're dead. It's just the guy in the in the vault that is pissed off. Hey, another point of health right here. Look at that. Good deals, man. Good deals. Now the black market needs to show up in this level. Oh no, it's two two still. Hey, I just sacrificed something without even realizing it. I'm just that much of a devout forward and look at all this junk. Okay, we should be able to get both if I put a bomb exactly there. <coughs> and bombs, parachute, and ropes. Very good. Man. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, yes, sacrifices. They make Cali happy, they make my belly happy. And the black market is right here. Boink. And there is something to be gained by sticking around. Ouch. Well, that means uh, blue frog hell. Look at that! What the hell? Look at this shit! Oh man, I wish I hadn't put the bomb there because now that's going to fall straight down. Oops! That sucks, but really not that big a deal since I already have 21 bombs. Here's where I was hoping to find. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, John, that you had to suffer a little bit before going into Kali's embrace. You son of a bitch! <laughs> they have a way! They just have a way to make me swallow my words. You know what? We can totally go... No, I did not alert him. That's good. Because now we can totally go down there and maybe throw my two points of life away by going to the pond. I... Damn it, I want to rescue. I want to put a bomb there. Uh, I want to rescue those bombs. It's a bad idea. What the hell with the frog? <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Oh, that frog. There's shenanigans right there. Hey, okay. I want my bombs, damn it. Whoops. If you hit the diagonal button, you will drop the freaking shotgun. No, actually, if it's you hold on. Yeah, that's right. We, we did that. We tested that whole thing a while back. Jumping in there is a, is, is, is a bad idea. It's a real bad idea. I did mean, not mean to do that, though. Kill some people. Okay, okay. It's all under control. Control uh, calling of these, these creatures, but... You know what? I don't know if this is worth it. I did lose my shotgun. I lost my fantastic box full of bombs. I'm going to cut my losses, and I also lost a point of health. I did rescue this fool, though, by mistake. Oh, this is a bad one. And we get higher help immediately. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was what I was planning. I did not believe that it would work. Totally planned that, though. I am so concerned about the existence of another guy here. I'm ready to jump back worry about it. This is so uncommon for the second guy not to show up. He's going to show up exactly as I jump in there. Okay. Nowhere to be seen. He must have dropped on the other side immediately, I guess. Yeah, I guess he did that. Okay. Well, it's better to be cautious. Oh boy, he ate it. <laughs> I did not think that would happen. Very lucky bombs so far. Alright, there doesn't seem to be anybody here. Alright, good deal. Let's go down there. Uh, -oh. uh yeah, both dead, okay. <laughs> I have dropped in here. Very efficient, very efficient way to go in there. And another bomb right there. I ain't no dummy, ain't going to have that risk, take that risk. There. That should 
clear the area that makes them drop now. Not good enough. Let's just help them out a little bit. Should take care of the entire section. Throws them all the way to the bottom. Now carefully over to the other side. Spring shoes already got them. Alright. There's one more guy. I don't know where he might be. Probably trapped by the exit. There's a spike pit right there. So that means... Pretty damn impossible. There he is. Wow. How, how is he not dead? How has he not jumped through the spikes yet? It's a lot of crap. Okay, he's dead. Had to shut up for a second there. There you go. Nice. Somehow this run's still going. I did not think that it would after throwing away so much health. But hopefully we can carry it all the way to the end. That is the goal. Mm -mm -mm. What do we gain here, really? Rope down, just being careful. Didn't need it. Just being careful. Okay, there's a crate over there. Definitely going to go for that because I'm a greedy mofo. And put a bone right there. Put a bone right here. Just, again, just playing it super safe. Shoot that man in the back. I love to do. Love, love, love to be treacherous. There. Too bad, man. I totally lost down on a Kapala in the in the previous level. Just my foolish, foolish incompetence. Letting people escape, man. That's just such a rookie mistake. I you would think I haven't been doing the whole kidnapping gig for ten years, but ah, what a rookie mistake, man. I can't believe it. Slip right through my fingers, too. That's the worst, man. When they, like, they break out of their cell, it's okay. It's like, you know, they're, people are resourceful. They break out of their cell, they make a, a daring escape to the yard where I have the dogs. It's fine. But when they escape from my fingers, man, right through... Uh, just wrestling from my, my incapacitating grab, that's what really rankles my feathers. Oh, man. Hasn't happened in a while, though. Ever since Lucy, it has never happened. Oh, Lucy. You were cute. Anyway, <clears throat> let's uh, get something to sacrifice onto that. Evil, evil, evil altar. It was an altar, right? Yeah, okay. Because Callie calls my name. She demands that I give her her pound of flesh. There you go. Might be able to get that... I don't know, I don't think we can get the Kapala with just a few Yetis. That man might help, though. Do you want to help, some Mustaches Fool? Yeah, I'll totally help you out. Oh, man. Let me uh, speed up your demise, then. Alright. Wait, 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 drop. There you go. <laughs> that worked out. Uh, don't know if this will be enough, but it sure was cool. It sure was cool to kill that man. Ah, he totally helped out, man. He was a total volunteer. You, you guys heard him. We have a recorded instance of him saying, "Yeah, we'll totally help you out, man." Absolutely happened. And that's since I have the Kapala. Where's the damsel? Uh, since I have the Kapala, I can be. An idiot, I'm going to the warm again. And possibly get myself killed that way. Kablooey. Was it ruined? That be a fantastic ending. So we gotta be absolutely certain he does not go through the freaking exit again. I'm willing to use a rope to make absolutely certain about that. Let's do this and jump. There you go. Alright, so this is a bit of a challenge to get right. Because we have limited time. Pow! Nice! It really worked out! And now with a Kapala, I'm not going to be... I mean, I'm going to be just as incompetent. I'll just have a ton more cushion to make a billion mistakes and not have to pay for them. Just gotta get to those good places. There's a little bit of blood right there. I guess we could totally farm this. There's, there, there's no go ghost in the worm. 
Well, we could just stand here and shoot that bacteria forever, but that would, you know, that, that would be boring as all hell. So, we're going to do it. We're going to do this instead. This. And here's another nice bit of blood for me. Kill that worm as well. Oh, I'm sorry, Matilda. Jeez. That bullet had no business going to your face. But hey, it was a small mercy, I would say. Because you were going to get digested for 10,000 years. Instead, you just got a mercy killing. I feel okay. I'm just a good person at heart. I swear, I swear, I try so hard. But it's just so easy. It's so easy. To get people in my dungeon. Put that there. Because I ain't gonna do it anymore. Damn it. Uh-oh. <laughs> There's nowhere I wanted to put that bomb. Ouch. No, no acid for me. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I am so scared of the acid. Ever since I got stun-locked in the acid way back. And of course it was my incompetence that I just could not get out. But it was a traumatic experience. It was terrible. Okay, we're going to continue bombing our way through this place. There we go. Because I am sick of dying. <laughs> so tired of dying the worm. I mean, uh, there's always the spikes, so we still gotta be pretty damn careful. Just in case. The spikes ruin my life. Absolutely. On my toes at all times. Okay, we're almost there. Mr. Exit Man is waiting for us. More blood that way. Man, that's a ton of blood. Holy crap, how long is this worm? Holy crap, peruse, man! It's a load of crap! Crap, crap everywhere! It's just crap! Destroy. Okay, there you go. 11 health. There you are. You little fool. I believe we can just bomb this man's face. Careful. Ah, oh, shit. No, <laughs> just... <laughs> Freaking bacteria. Freaking bacteria. Almost ruined everything again. There. Ha! You thought you could catch me, but no. So I'm, I'm concerned about this guy being down there. bit of a problem. Come on, jump this way. There you go. Thank you for falling victim to my control explosion. Appreciate it. Man, that was a, a bad experience right there. <laughs> I did not enjoy myself. Alrighty. But hey, the worm is complete. Now we just need to go to the Moahead at the end. Ba boom! I think we're going to just bomb our way straight into the mothership. I'm not going to do anything fancy here. There's no real reason to explore this area because I ain't got no need for money. Well, I mean, there could be a cape or something in a crate. There could be. I mean, this dog. Oh shit! <laughs> I mean, <too. laughs> I just wanted a little bit of blood, I swear. I swear I was just whipping him. I did not mean to mince him into tiny little pieces. Fate reserved only for the abyss. Only for my victims, I was going to say. Oh, that was dumb. I just wanted to drop a little further down. That teaches me not to be a freaking idiot and just go straight into the mothership. I was stupid as old fuck. And I lost the shotgun too, man. That was ridiculous. Should be ashamed of myself. And everything I represent. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> what is happening? Holy shit. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Donovan, for taking that bomb for me. That was a solid. You are the man. I owe you dinner and or rescuing your life. Way up here. Oh, please! Holy crap, that bomb took way too long to explode. Alright, what we got here? Oops, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> Did I just say I owed you? Well, I guess that's a quick death. That is the, the best I can do for you. Careful with that exploding UFO. It ain't cool, man. It just ain't cool. What just happened? Me dropping into the abyss just straight down. What the hell was that, man? Bullshit. It was a lot of bullshit. It's not Chris Knife the Terrace because that will be death. And just move on forward, I guess. Hey, I did make the run a uh, 51 minute, uh, minute uh, romp through these areas, so that is a victory right there. Okay, I cannot whip poor Major Stupid the second. I, I thought it. Shit, again! You did it again, you fool! You threw yourself in the abyss twice! What kind of a moron? <laughs> the hell was that? Well, hope that at least I got a chuckle and a shake of your head, I suppose. That was the worst. <laughs> that was the worst. Oh, man. I guess I'll see you in the next one. Until then, I bid you farewell.